Dodge y'all. This is another one for you. <laughs> <laughs> drink this one, okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I voted for Obama, I did. Because uh, I was, I'm sorry? <laughs> I heard you, I'm just sorry that you spoke up. Um, <laughs> Or be fading, not both. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry. I was just being serious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get down from up here. <laughs> be like Charlie in the show. Like, Bert, Charlie, that's the only way to get down. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I voted for Obama. I did. My best friend is black, um, and uh, he took the whole Obama thing a little too far. He drove, he wrote comics, right? He's a comedian too. And he drove, he's not, no, he's not famous, you don't know him. And, we don't make a lot of money. He drove from LA, he's got kids and a family too, which is just difficult to come out you know? Drove from LA to Washington to see the inauguration when Obama got inaugurated. I'm like, dude, why are you doing that? He's like, dude, first black president, man, I'm gonna be there, first black president, right? I'm like, first off, uh, Obama, black, I don't care, he's not all black. <laughs> his dad is from Kenya, and his mother is a white woman from Iowa. He was raised in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I was raised in the inner city of Milwaukee. I am more black than that motherfucker. <laughs> Black. Obama is more like that, that, he's like that duck in that insurance commercial, he's half black. He's not black. <laughs> 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 I know it's not like exactly correct, but it's hard to find a duck to go half right in America. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm not gay, but I do go to gay bars. You have one here in Papa Bluff? Woo! Yeah. Pop up there, black. No, no, no. You know what? I'm telling you guys, you know, whatever your virtues and morals are, whatever, wherever you stand on things, uh, Papa Bluff, you know, we got a big old Walmart, you can have a gay bar, open a gay bar, I'm telling you, if you build it, they will come. And you will come. I can yell on you colored in that kitchen. That was not dirty. He laughed right in his own. I don't know if you guys know, if I don't see a gay bar here in the next six, in the next six months, I, I'm, bro, I won't come here and open a gay bar. I know I'll be rich. For real. Uh -huh. so you know why? Because there ain't one. And you know, just think about, you know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it options. Options. Yep. <laughs> right? You're leaving the bar with your buddies, you're all drunk, you didn't hook up with a high leg curve, you're like, dude, what are you going to do? We always got options. <laughs> I was a star of the comic for 20 years, and I like to drink. I, the drinks are expensive, man. I go to gay bars just to drink drinks. Because <laughs> apparently the girls, I'm like a four, but in the gay world, I was like an eight to MP. You know? like, I will pimp, I will pimp from and cokes on the roof of the night. It's all that. Like, oh, no shame in my I lost you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I just, I, 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 you know, pick, I say to this gay material, but I'll tell you something. I really, I don't know if you have opinion about it or not. Gay marriage, you know, it's been a hot topic in the last decade, you know, I'll tell you, I don't care. I don't care, really. I don't, I don't care at all. Really. Then I'm very Republican, I don't care either. But that subject matter, I don't, I don't care. Gay marriage, I don't, I don't really know. And here's when we don't care, you know. You're, people want to tell you their sexuality, like, why do you, if you, whatever you do, why do you care where a, a man, what a mother man person says mean? I don't care. It's all I don't care. Right? And actually, I should put a little asterisk next to hurting somebody because I've been with some poor year old women. <laughs> Hard enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a few stuff there. <laughs> and by the way, ladies, when you say harder, by like the fourth time, we hear you. <laughs> So I thought about it. Maybe she didn't physical hurt. Maybe she wanted to be like, you know, mentally stimulated or challenged. So, you know, so next time I was there, so hard. I'm like, all right, a train to Chicago going 60 miles. <laughs> Do algebra. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just don't care what man puts his man. And I don't think we should have a label for it. Right? Do you care? I don't care. Yeah. And then, like, you put the man puts his winner in a man, he's gay. He puts his winner in a woman, he's straight. <laughs> Listen, folks, 
When I was in college, I walked in on my fraternity brother humping the couch. <laughs> A lazy boy, apparently. He's <laughs> Football big guy, you played it? I know you did, you had to play it, right? <laughs> really? <laughs> After high school? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You shimmy, look at me. You didn't laugh at my little gay bar joke, he's like, I'm broke, oh, I'm pimp a dream down. I just don't think you have to tell people, you know? You certainly don't, like I gotta, I said the last couple of years I've taken some jobs. And uh, none of them worked out really, so I'm here now. Um, but they, they, they don't feel the need to tell you about things. Like, I get you, the first day work, taking you around, like, oh, that's Sally, that's, 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 that's Ron, that's Tim, he's me. It's 7 30 in the morning, we're just mad, I don't even know him. Now I'm fixing Tim's wiener in the bus. Like, I don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know that thing, he's sitting I like football because it's manly, but it's not. It's, it's not manly. It's not really manly. You know? It is, and there's proof. There's four inch slips. I was watching, I was watching the, the Jets Buffalo game on Monday night last year, and uh, they, <laughs> there was no. And uh, there's a play that went bad, and the coach wanted uh, challenges, right? So he, he threw the red flag, and. <laughs> And this is what the television announcer said. Not making this up, if you remember it, I don't know if it's on YouTube, you can find it, but I mean, he said this for being, he goes, uh, uh, there goes the challenge bag, flat. <laughs> <laughs> Simmons comes running up. <laughs> I'm the challenge bag. <laughs> Did that too good? Not too well. <laughs> Boy, you guys laughed and died real quick, man. I'm just <laughs> Chinese, you know, and I uh, tried to learn a little Chinese because she spoke like I felt intimidated, you know, and it's, she's real cute and it's hitting on her. trying to get ahead. You ever try to learn, you ever seen the Chinese language? I'll tell you two things about trying to learn Chinese. First off, if you weren't born with it, <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> Not even with Rosetta Stone, save your money, can't happen. <laughs> Secondly, there are no deaf people in China. <laughs> Do you ever see the characters of the Chinese alphabet? It would be impossible to do the sign language. It's been kicked and it's like killed, but it's not literally, but like tonight it's been a real theme. 
I wrote this impression, and since we've been in a hiatus, I wrote this. Oh, I don't know if it's going to go over. This is, I, uh, this is my impression of a chicken answering a price check at the Everything's a Dollar store. <laughs> Buck! <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that like three in the morning a couple weeks ago on a random Tuesday because I didn't have a whole job and I was, uh, <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> and you know what, folks? I came prepared because I didn't know if you'd like that joke or not, so I came prepared. I'll give you the visual interpretation of my chicken impression. Here we go. Okay. This, uh, this is just a towel from. My hotel room that they put us up in. <laughs> Which I'll return. I'll return the towel. <laughs> I don't want to piss off the cleaning lady. If I don't return it tomorrow morning, she'll be in my room going, I can't go back. Go back and do it. It's where the towel stand. <laughs> Look, I pick on Mexicans because you, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the Mexican girl got pregnant? Her teacher told her to go do an essay. <laughs> <laughs> What did the Mexican girl say when two houses fell on top of her? <laughs> Get off me, Holmes! <laughs> <laughs> this is the visual aid for my chicken. Chicken! <laughs> 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 it's a bisexual chicken, it goes both ways. <laughs> See the show. It's a big deal for me, big deal in my career, right? And Lewis Pike, if you don't know who he is, he's very dirty. Uh, you know, not dirty, but he's, he's very liberal with the with swearing, you know? So, first of all, you say, you know, there's no cursing guidelines or anything, you know? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I did my show, the whole family's there, and I had a great show, man. There's like there's almost 30,000 people in the amphitheater there. It's just incredible. I've never felt anything like it. I'm, and such a natural high when I got off the stage, and my family got to come back by the, the trailer green thing area where they put us up and stuff. And my brother, and that was so cool. I get here, and my brother, they all come back. My brother comes up and was like, "I was like, did you like it? Dude, you were funny, but grandma was in the audience." <laughs> <laughs> Nana was going to make the 10 o'clock Lewis Black show in Vegas, right? Because I was up there, whoa, whoa, like, really scared, right? And, and she tells me this, and I just, like, all oh, my heart sunk, and I knew I had, to do, like, five or ten minutes before she got all the way back. <laughs> so I'm, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And she comes up to me, and I don't know, you're Catholic, you're racist, you're not Italian, you're more guilt. It's like, the Catholics invented guilt, the Italians perfected it, okay? <laughs> Grandma comes up to me and I go, oh, I got to face the music. She goes, <laughs> I go, Grandma, what, what? She goes, you in those F words. You're going to go to H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> I was euphoric. It was the biggest moment of my career. So I checked my grandma, right? And I, I never argue. You didn't argue with your grandma, right? I go, Grandma, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say to the F word? And she says, this, this is what she says to me. And she goes, you can use the word bless. <laughs> and I'm thinking, no, I you can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I swear, that's what she uses. She uses bless as, as, a, as a euphemist for the F word. I remember vividly, I was like 10 years old, I was at her house spending the night. She stuck her toe in a, in a transition in between the door. And I wanted to scream and she wanted to cuss at it. She's a colder. I go, crap. She goes, I go, what's wrong? She goes, 
blessed doorway. <laughs> and at 10 years old, I remember thinking, fucking let him out. <laughs> Like, we don't give you money, you got an A train to heaven, that's all it takes, you know? <laughs> it's okay, right? I'm never gonna say the F word. So, this is all I'll say. This is my last thing I said. I promised her I would use bless as a replacement. I said, try, okay, I'll try it once, at least once, right? So, I mean, it was going on, and a few months went on, and, and I hadn't done it, hadn't done it. I'm hanging out with my buddy watching Monday Night Football, and he's telling me about his date that he had last weekend. And I was like, all right, I'll try it here. And I looked at him and I go, dude, did you bless her? <laughs> And he just looked at me like the RCA dog. <laughs> <laughs> and once I told him what I meant, he's like, what I meant by bless, I explained it. He goes, oh, dude, I blessed her, she blessed me. It was a blessed event. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man. And he calls me a month later, he's like, dude, that girl was pregnant. I'm like, you are so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very good. I think you can tell why we put him last, right? Nobody can follow him, man. All right.